Hey all, so in a recent update Valhalla has been updated, there's a new type of summoning scroll so what I'm going to do here is talk about a few ways to get those summoning scrolls, then I think use around 50 in Valhalla and see what I get. So let's go over here, this is what the new summoning scroll looks like, Martyr summoning scroll, there's only the one type of scroll now rather than the two that there was before. There's also some other features here as well, like the token shop. There's also a milestone feature. It says a bit about what you can do here, but I think it all requires amethysts in order to purchase the items. I'm not sure about that yet. This doesn't look like it requires amethysts though, but the luck at the end does, even though there's a title there for 1,000 amethysts, which is quite cheap. I'm not 100% sure about this yet though, as I haven't really been doing that many summons. I'm going to be doing that during this video. Right, so obtaining these items, there's not that many easy ways to get them for free. There are some available in the shop though, that you can purchase with diamonds. You can see here, 1,000 diamonds. You can only purchase one of these per day though, so I recommend doing that if you have enough diamonds to do so, but just bear that in mind. You can also go to the daily quests. You can see here if you upgrade your fairy, you get a few scrolls. If we go over to Apex Mystery, there's also a few that are available from here. You can see if we scroll down. There's one at 8,000, then two at 16,500. Scroll down even further, 28,000. And that's about all of them that are available from there. If you do well at that though, you should get the six per week. 28,000 isn't too difficult to get to. You can see my points are already well over that. There's also this exclusive shop or exclusive store should I say, that you can trade your old improved hero packs or regular hero packs for the new summoning scrolls. You can see that here. So please go ahead and do that if you still have any of the old packs. It's unlikely they will be useful in any future aspects of the game. Right, so let's go ahead and do some summonings. There is the summoning carnival event as well here. I don't think I'm going to get to 70 summons, but I should be able to get the 10 and 30. So let's go ahead and do this. Right, I've just got rid of the Apex Mystery Box. Here we go, let's go ahead and have a bit of fun with the summoning. Right, so this is 10. You can see here, you actually get cards now, which is kind of interesting. Plus there's this luck as well. I'll just go over to here. Luck is something to do with this. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I have 400 luck. You can see here though, I'm mainly getting cards from the rewards. So this is quite an interesting feature now. I'm not really sure how you get the heroes if it's only giving cards, but I think I'll work that out as we continue to summon. So. Let's have another go. My bag might fill up. I've only done the one. Didn't mean to do that. But you can see Holy Soul Tokens. You seem to get 10 for every summon you do. So it's quite interesting. What's that? Beast Spirit Stones. One card. I'm not sure if this is as good as the previous Valhalla, if I'm being honest. It's hard to say, really. I'm only going to do 50 though. It's mainly cards that I am getting. Okay, my bag is full. All the cards go in the force book. You can see here, I can unlock the heroes and upgrade various cards here. I'll just go ahead and do that quickly. Right, there we go, looking good. I can also upgrade this as well to give a bit more battle rating. This is what the new Valhalla is like though. You have a pretty good idea of the items you're getting from here. It's mainly cards by the looks of it, but you do have a mythic hero available. 
after you have done 100 draws in total. So that's something to bear in mind once you reach the rewards there. A Mythic Hero is an orange quality hero and not one of the ultra rare UR heroes. I nearly made that mistake of wondering what it was, but yeah, it's not an ultra rare hero, unfortunately. I'll just go over to the heroes page and show you which heroes this is. Basically, for example, Athan or Artemis, Apollo, Siegfried, they all count. It's not Brunhilde, though. You can see there, Ultra Rare, you don't get one of those, unfortunately. But anyway, that's 50 summons done. What I'll do now is go over to the events and claim the rewards for 50. You can see I get more of those summoning scrolls. I will also go over to the summoning carnival. Might as well see what this does. Well, actually, I don't think I can. You need another 200 keys. Let's just have a quick look at this. I'm just short, unfortunately. So I need to get a few more of those before the event ends, ideally. But that gives you an idea of what you can get from here. It's mainly cards for the Force book now. So it's quite interesting, but... How do you get the heroes like you did before? I'm not sure. It's a bit strange in that respect, but an interesting change to the game, that's for sure. So let's go back over to Valhalla. I'll just have another look at these features. The token shop. Well, you get 10 tokens per summon, so you're going to need 2,000 summons to get one of these cards. And that seems rather unrealistic. That's a lot of summons. Milestone rewards you can see here. You'll get one point for each 10 times summons. So that's pretty easy to work out. Doom. You will get one point if you don't get a Mythic Hero Min in 10 times summons. I didn't get any heroes when I did this. I only really got cards and some scrolls as well. So that gives you an idea anyway. If you don't get any heroes, eventually you'll get something from here, including a God of Doom frame, which looks quite nice. Then the luck rating. There's a title there. I should be able to claim that, but I don't have enough amethysts. But that would be quite an interesting thing to get that title. I'm still quite new to this though, so I might not be 100% correct, but that's what it looks like from what I'm seeing. Alright, and that marks the end of this video. I hope that was interesting and helpful. So you got an idea from the rewards you can get from this. It's mainly cards, but there is the occasional hero in there as well by the looks of it. It is going to be a lot harder to get the heroic soul now though, so bear that in mind when you are summoning. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is always very much appreciated. I have included a previous video on the screen, plus a playlist. Plus you can also subscribe from here if you want to do so. And thanks for watching.